Light a candle, and then when you blow it out, place a lit match into the smoke that appears to be coming from the candle. The flame will jump back from the match and relight the candle. Place about 100 milliliters of water into a drinks can, and you'll find you can balance and move it in mysterious ways. Place a cloth that hasn't got a hem on it onto the table. Then place some heavy objects on the cloth, and you're going to whip away the cloth, but leave the objects safely on the table. And remember, when you do this, don't pull horizontally, pull the cloth vertically. Ask someone to rotate their right foot clockwise, and then with their right finger, draw a number six in the air. What you'll find is they reverse the rotation of their foot, so now it becomes anti-clockwise. So we're just going to put some vinegar into a, a jug here. Then you add on some bicarbonate of soda or uh, a baking powder. What that does is start to produce carbon dioxide inside the, uh, the jug here. That's heavier than air, so that will stay in there. What it allows to do in a few moments' time is pour it on each of the candles and hopefully extinguish the flames without touching them. Have someone place their hand on the table and ask them to move each of their fingers. Next, have them place their second finger under their hand. Although they'll still be able to move their first and little finger, they'll find it impossible to take this finger off of the table. Place a cocktail stick or a match between two forks. And although it seems impossible, you'll be able to balance the whole thing on just your fingertip. All you need for this is a bouncy ball and a table. You just throw the ball under the table and return to exactly where your hand is. Take any note with a portrait on it and put a crease through each eye and then another crease in the opposite direction between the eyes. And then just by moving the note you'll be able to make the face smile or look sad. Make a hole in an empty matchbox. Then place one match into the hole vertically and lean another match diagonally against it underneath the coin. Ask your friends if they can remove the coin without touching either of the matches. The answer is to light the diagonal match towards its centre.